जय हिंद टू ऑल माई सेल्फ शिखा अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आई टी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक अर्थमेटिक एक्सप्रेशन इवेल्युएशन एज वी नो दिस इज एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ यूजिंग स्टैक एप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्टैक राइट सो इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्टैक द एलिमेंट विच इज बींग लास्ट इन इज टू बी लास्ट ई फर्स्टली आउट फाइन so now in this case when i'm talking about the arithmetic expression evaluation before we start about this topic we should be aware about what is a polish notations how all the notations is being existing into the concept of stack first it is called as a prefix prefix also stands for polish notation second we are talking about a postfix that is a reverse polish notation and the third is infix notations so we can say prefix postfix infix notations are three different but equivalent ways to represent a given expressions when i'm talking about the orders of an operands in all the three notations the order of the operands are same but when i'm talking about the concept of operators they are positions their locations is to be varied in all the three cases when i'm talking about the concept of infix in the case of infix notation the operand exists between the two operands see you can check an example also when i'm giving you a concept of infix in the case of infix suppose i have in a two expressions that is a and b so before that a plus b so it means the a and b are the operands and plus is an operator which exist between both the operands then after that operands in the postfix notation and before operands in the prefix notation so in the case of uh, postfix the operand should always be after right and in the case of prefix the operand should be in the before fine so these are the three notations in the case of stack using implementation so we should be aware about the three notations infix notation prefix notation and postfix notation in the case of infix the expression is consist of operator and on both the sides we have an operands now if i'm talking about the evaluation of these expressions if suppose when i'm talking about the expression given in an infix notation so we can say while evaluating an expression in an infix notation we are not getting a clear concept that we have to evaluate what which operator we have to evaluate first for example if an expression is being given for ex i can show you an example if i write an example like a plus b asterisk c so in this we are having a two types of operands the first is plus the second is asterisk or multiplication right so we are not clear in a concept that whether we should solve plus first or asterisk first so in that case it brings a ambiguity is being generated so in that case we have to solve this ambiguity precedence of operators is required operators with the higher precedence we have to apply it before the operator with the lower precedence so for example if i can say asterisk is having a higher priority than plus so in the case of infix notation first of all we have to evaluate asterisk in spite of plus so first evaluating asterisk between b and c then after that whatever the resultant is being produced into that we have to do the addition with a so this is the way how we have to solve the ambiguity in the precedence this precedence of operators is not required in the concept of prefix or postfix notations so these two do not have an ambiguities in the case of infix notation so after that if i can check the precedence and associativity which is being determined by the evaluation of expressions precedence and associativity determine in the order of evaluation of an expression suppose you can check the table in this table we are having a three types of an operators exponential operator multiplication and division they both are written in the same precedence and after that we have an addition and subtraction on the lowest precedence so suppose if there is an exponential in the given expression it will be evaluated on the top priority on the highest priority when i'm talking in the concept of infix notation after that we have an multiplication and division they both are on the same priority due to which we have to evaluate both the expressions simultaneously or we can evaluate any of the operator first then rest of the operator after that similarly we have an addition and subtraction 
दे बोथ आर ऑन द सेम प्रायोरिटी और साइमल्टेनियसली वी कैन से इट इज ऑन द लोएस्ट प्रायोरिटी एंड वी हैव टू इवेल्युएट दिस एक्सप्रेशन ऑन द वे फाइन सो यू कैन आल्सो चेक व्हेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इट्स प्रेसिडेंस एक्सपोनेंशियल इज हैविंग एन हाईएस्ट प्रायोरिटी देन आफ्टर दैट मल्टीप्लिकेशन आर ऑन द सेकंड प्रायोरिटी देन ऑन द लोएस्ट प्रायोरिटी वी हैव एन एडिशन एंड सबट्रैक्शन and simultaneously if i'm talking about the associativity if there is an exponential we always follows the right associativity fine but in the case of uh, operators like mul uh, multiplication division addition and subtraction we always used to follow the left associativity right now if we do the comparison between the prefix postfix and infix notations yes the first common difference is that infix notation is very easy to read in comparison to prefix and postfix notations why because whenever i'm talking writing an expression like if i write x plus y so i know it is very easy for everyone to understand what is x plus y right but in comparison to this if i'm writing plus ab operator initially then somewhere if they are adding a large number of expressions then it is being giving a difficult situation to read the expression that's why we can say the infix notation is easy to read than prefix and postfix notations fine after that infix notation requires an additional information to resolve ambiguities as in the previous slide i have already told you about the ambiguities fine suppose if an expression is having a a plus b asterisk c division d and so on so in this case it gives creates an ambiguity that which parameter or which operator we need to solve first whether the addition multiplication or division so it, it generates an ambiguity so in that case we requires an additional information to study about the uh, precedence tables if an operator of a lower precedence is needed to be applied before then we need to put a parenthesis in the infix notation ab now for example if i want to resolve this problem of lower precedence fine if it means i want that a plus b will be solved initially so in that case what we used to do we used to apply the parenthesis because parenthesis or the brackets they gives up highest priority so due to which first of all we will solve a plus b because it is consumes in bracket which indicates that this is to be solved initially wherever it is not needed in the prefix and the postfix notations so for the machine system if i can say it will be easy to parse prefix and postfix expressions than the infix notations because in the case of prefix and postfix only the machine can easily parse the system easily and in the case of infix notations they inish they also need to apply the ambiguities right now so due to which in this class we are going to discuss about the postfix evaluation arithmetic algorithms if i am talking about an postfix evaluation as we all know if an expression is in the case of postfix the operator should be after the operands right so we here we are going to discuss about an algorithm which is being evaluating the postfix expressions the first step is that we have to scan the expression from the left to right suppose if i give you an expression like a b plus so in that case we have to start evaluating or scanning the expression from left to right after that whenever there is an operand we in similarly push into the stack and if an operator is there then the operand in from the stack and performing the operations fine after that we have to store the output of step number 3 back to the stack number step 5 and the expression until all the operands are consumed and finally in the last step what we have to do we have to pop up the stack and perform the operation now you can check an example in this example i have taken the certain expressions like 4 5 6 asterisk plus right so will evaluate this expression uh, given postfix notation as you can see the example 4 comma 5 comma 6 asterisk and plus is given right so you can check all the operators are on the right hand side if all the operators are on the right side so which indicates that this expression is in postfix notation fine after that how we have to evaluate in this case we have to use this algorithm this algorithm is says the first step says we have to explain this expression from left to right 
so in that case we have to start the scanning from left to right that we have to start scanning from 4 so you can check into the table the first step says that there is an input symbol that is 4 fine and in that case we have to perform the operation push as i have already told you if any operand you can check the algorithm also that if an operand is push then we have to push it into the stack so you can check into this case this is an operand so it will be pushed into the stack then after that we have a next symbol that is 5 again in the case of 5 this is also an operand so we have to push into the stack so we have to write the stack as 4 comma 5 then again the next operand will come that is 6 again we have to push into the stack that is 4 comma 5 comma 6 fine all the three elements is being scanned then after that from the given expression asterisk will come once the asterisk will come what we know the asterisk asterisk is what is this if we have to perform the step number 3 step number 3 says if it is an operator we have to pull the two operands from the stack and we have to perform the operation so now in this case you can check if the operator comes then we have to pop up the two elements and then we have to evaluate the given expression fine so in the case of a stack suppose this is an stack we know that in the case of a stack what we have to do we have to pop up the last two elements right so in that case we have to pop 5 and 6 we have to apply the arithmetic expression into it and after that we are getting the result that is 30 5 into 6 is equals to 30 then we have to push the result into the stack so now the stack is full of 4 comma 30 now after that the next expression is the next input symbol is plus when the plus comes then what we have to do we have to do we have to pop the next two elements and again we have to evaluate the expression after that evaluating it the stack will be empty and the result becomes 4 plus 30 that comes out to be 34 then after that what we have to do we have to push the result into the stack and finally into the stack we get an expression that is 34 fine after plus there is no element so there is no element is to be pop up into the stack and finally into the stack we are having only a one element that is 34 so after that we are getting the result as 34 this is the way how we have to evaluate the given expressions fine now this is an algorithm which we have applied then whenever we are having an operand push into the stack and whenever we have an operator we have to pull the last two operands from the stack and we have to apply the operation and this process goes on until and unless we get the complete resultant is to be produced now after that i can show you this is the table then after that i am going to solve these two numericals into the class so that you will be able to understand how we have to solve the questions now in this class what we have to do is we have to solve the table by using the same way first of all we will put the input values then we are talking about the stack and then we have to talk about the operations right so first of all we have an input as 6 so 6 is an operand we will put into the stack then we have 2 so it becomes 6 comma 2 then after that we have an a 3 so it becomes 6 comma 2 comma 3 then we have an a plus right so after that once the plus will come what we have to do we have to pop up the two elements and will evaluate the operation so it will becomes 2 plus 3 so it will becomes 5 so 6 comma 5 then after that we have to perform minus then in the case of minus we again we have to pop up the two elements in case we have to perform the 6 minus 5 that comes out to be 1 fine after that we have 3 so it becomes 1 comma 3 then after that we have an 8 so 1 comma 3 comma 8 then after that we can check that into the stack we have 1 comma 3 comma 8 right then after that we have an into the stack that is 2 so we will also put 2 
इनपुट स्टैक इज टू देन वी हैव टू पुट डिवाइड नाउ वेन द डिवाइड डिविजन विल कम वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू डू द डिविजन फॉर द लास्ट टू पैरामीटर्स देन इट विल बिकम एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू दैट इज इक्वल्स टू फोर देन वी गेट अ रिजल्टेंट एज फोर फाइन देन वी हैव अ प्लस इन द केस ऑफ प्लस वन कॉमा थ्री कॉमा फोर then plus will comes so what we have to do we have to do 3 plus 4 that is equals to 7 right so after plus we have an asterisk so it becomes 1 comma 7 when the asterisk will come it will perform one asterisk 7 then we are got get an answer as 7 then we have 2 and power then we come 2 7 comma 2 then we have power after that power it means we have to do the exponential expression means 7 comma 2 equals to 7 raised to power 2 7 7 jo 49 we get an answer then after that we have a 3 then in the case of 3 the answer will be 49 comma 3 fine after that we have plus in the case of plus we have to evaluate an expression that is 49 plus 3 we get as as 52 fine then after 52 what we have nothing so we have already evaluated the expression with which we have start the scanning from left to right and finally we reach to the right hand side after that we are getting the result that is 52 now in the previous slide you can also check the result i have already written that is 52 this is the way how you are evaluating an expression once you have evaluated the expression you can check each and every step we have followed only the algorithm this algorithm we have applied on to it this is the way how we can evaluate the given expression now we can do a one more question 12 7 3 12 7 3 12 7 3 minus division minus division 215 plus asterisk plus plus fine so in this case what do you have to do we have to do the input symbol we have to talk about the stack then after that we have to talk about the operations right first of all the symbol comes as to be 12 so it will put into the stack then it comes out to be 7 then it becomes 12 comma 7 then it comes out to be 3 so it becomes 12 comma 7 comma 3 then it becomes minus once the minus will come again it is an operator so what we have to do we have to evaluate the both the expressions that comes out to be 12 comma 7 minus 3 that comes out to be 4 fine after that we have to do the division in the case of division we have to pop up both the elements that comes out to be 12 divided by 4 that is equals to 3 so in the case of a stack it comes out to be Three. Then after that we have to input two. So it becomes three comma two. Then one three comma two comma one. Then we have five three comma two comma one comma five. Then after that we have to do the addition. In the case of addition, we'll do the addition of these two. We'll get six. So it becomes three comma two comma six. Then we have to do the multiplication. in the case of multiplication will pop up the last two elements and then we will get the expression as 3 comma 3, 6 6 2 2 2 that comes out to be 12 fine so 3 comma 12 and lastly we have an addition so in the case of addition we have a 3 comma 12 that comes out to be the resultant 12 plus 3 that comes out to be 15 now in the previous slide if we are getting the result as 15 you can check the result is also a 15 fine so this is the way how we are talking about the postfix expressions evaluation is it clear to all then after that 
I can show you one or more example in which we have to use the stack to evaluate the following postfix arithmetic expressions by changing the status in the tabular form. Suppose we have an uh, example as it is given in the question that we have an expression as x, y, z, p power asterisk plus a, b slash div uh, division c plus minus. It is being given in a expressions, right? It is being giving us symbols like x, y, z and so on. And after that what they did, they have given you the values for x, y, z, p, a, b and c, fine. So, all these values you have to use it in the given expression and you have to evaluate the given arithmetic expression. Now, you can see the result. Suppose, if I am talking about the result of this example, first of all we have an x. So, in the case of x, we know the value of x is given as 1. So, into that we will push, we have to do, what we have to do? We have to push into the stack and initially the stack is empty. So, we will put into the stack 1. Then after that, we have to use y. y, then the value of y is already given that is 5. So, what we have to do? Either we can store 1 comma 5 or we can store x, x comma y also. Fine. Whenever you are doing an evaluation, you can put this values also into the stack. Then we have the next expression that is z. So, if the value of z is already given, so you can write 2. So, x comma y comma z also. Then after that, it is being given p. So, again, we have to push into the stack that is p. So, it becomes x comma y comma z comma p. Now, after that, the symbol comes exponential that is power. So, what we have to do? We have to pop 3. Fine. In that case, what happens? We have to pop that element and we have to do the pop function. So, after that, we what we have to do? We have to do the pop two elements and we have to evaluate it. So, the last two elements is z comma p. What is the value of z? It is 2. What is the value of p? It is given as 3. So, what we have to do? We have to evaluate that we getting 8. So, after that, we are getting x comma y comma 8 also. Fine. Then, we getting an asterisk. After that asterisk, what we have to do? Again, we have to pop the last two elements. So, into that case, we have to pop 5 into 8 that comes out to be result as 40. So, in the case of a stack, this data element will be 1 comma 40. The last we have a 1. Then we have a plus symbol. So, into that plus, again, we have to pop up the two elements and we will evaluate the resultant. Into this case, we have pop up the two elements that becomes to be 1 plus 40 that is equals to 41. And finally, in the result, we are getting 41. Fine. After that, we have given in the expression that is a. We have to push into the stack 41 comma 50 because the value of a is already given in the expression that is 50. Then we have to put b. b is equals to 3 is already given. So, now the stack operation becomes 41 comma 15 comma 3. Then we have to put division. In the case of division, what we have to do? We have to divide the last two elements. That is 15 divided by 3 that comes out to be 5. So, we have to put into the expression. Then after that we have C 8. So, again we have to push 8 into the stack. Then in the last what we have to do? We have an plus. So, finally after that we have to pop up the both the element. Then we have an minus. Then in this case we are popping up and finally we are getting the result into the 28. Fine. This is the way how we have to evaluate the given expressions. Fine. Now, after that, if the next topic is, we are going to talk about the conversion from postfix to infix expression. Initially, what we are doing it, we are evaluating it. Now, in this topic, we are going to discuss about how we have to write the postfix expressions into an infix expressions, right? So, suppose expression is given as 3, 4, 5, S. So, first of all, we have to follow the same thing. Suppose, we are maintaining the stack here. And in the stack, suppose the first element is to be push. The first element is 3. Then after that, we have 4. Now, again, we have to push the next element that is 4. Then we have an 5. Then again, we have to push the next element that is 5. After that, we are getting an asterisk, which indicates that we have to pop up both the elements and we have to perform the expression. So, after that, in this case, the last two elements are these two. So, what we have to do, we will pop up the experiment and we have to create an expression because we have to convert into the 
एक्सप्रेस तो दिस इज द वे वी हैव टू राइट तो आफ्टर दैट वी आर गेटिंग द फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज फाइव एस फोर एस्ट्रिक फाइव फाइन देन वी हैव सिक्स देन वी हैव डिविजन नाउ वंस द डिविजन विल कम we know this is an expression is given on the behalf of 4 or comma 5 so what we have to do whatever the expression is given we have to do the division so we have to divide by 6 fine so in by using these three we are getting an expression as this divided by 6 fine then lastly we are having an plus so in the case of addition whatever the expression is being generated this expression is already generated so whatever the result will produce from this expression we have to add 3 into it right so now you can check the result also i can show you that 3 plus 4 asterisk 5 divided by 6 this is the way how we are getting a solution to this example right so after that we can do a one more question also suppose it is being given that 300 plus 23 Fine. So you can generate an expression directly that 300 plus 23 is the first expression. After that, into the stack it becomes 43. Then it comes out to be 21. And after that, after evaluating it, it comes to be a minus. So in that case, what you can write 43 minus 21. After evaluating these two expressions, then after that we are getting an asterisk. Once we get an asterisk, it means into the stack this is the second expression. This is the first expression so in both of these what we have to do we have to create the asterisk multiplication between these two expressions right now you can check also that we are having an expressions fine so it comes out to be 300 plus 23 asterisk 43 minus 21 right then after that we have an expression that is 84 and 7 then it means 84 and 7 and after that operator is there so what we have to write is 84 plus 7 and finally when we have a division so in that case what we have to do we have to divide the whole expression with the division this expression is being created it is being divided by 84 plus 7 now you can check the result also that we are getting the expression as 84 plus 7 so these all are the results how we have to evaluate i can give you a one example for unsolved question that you can evaluate at your home also that this expression is being given and you can convert from postfix to infix expression fine thank you